Hello, this is Kyle with TabletMonsters.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, some of the iPad 2's camera-related and uh, GPU-related features. Um, so we can go ahead and first just kind of see that there are three new apps that are included on the iPad 2 that were not on the original iPad, and all three are camera-related. Um, you know, FaceTime and camera are both pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, just allowing camera just allowing you to take pictures with either the front or the rear camera, um, and then. You know, FaceTime allowing you to make video calls over Wi-Fi um, to any FaceTime compatible device like a, a Mac, an iPod Touch, or an iPhone. Um, and then there's Photo Booth, uh, which is the the first new one. This is totally new to iOS devices, and um, you know this is a number of really neat graphical effects you can kind of see with my hand there. Um, and it's just really a, you know an amazing demonstration of the GPU because you have all these graphical effects that are being done live. Um, and here you have. Uh, what most people say is nine preview windows, but if you look, because the mirror effect and also the kaleidoscope one there, um, really this is going to be closer to about 15 or so live actual windows from the camera um, that are all actually being distorted and things. Um, and it is, I mean, it's, it's a pretty neat thing. Uh, you can kind of go through the different effects, and uh, what's really neat is that, you know, in a case like this, you can actually pinch and move the distortion around um, and make it bigger or smaller. Um, and stuff like that. So I mean, it's it's really uh, a fun thing, you know, especially for um, kids and when you're just getting the hands on the device and stuff. <clears throat> We're also going to take a look at iMovie, um, which is a really neat and powerful application um, that's been out for the iPhone for about a year, uh, but it's just now come to the iPad with a, a major update. Um, and so you can see this is actually the hands-on video that I made earlier, and. Um, you can see, I mean, the, the previews and everything happened very quick. Uh, scrolling through, this is the local library of media on the iPad itself. Um, and, it, and it's just a, a very responsive program. And then here's the much ballyhooed, which I actually used, um, where you can pinch between a transition, and you can really see, you know, where you want it to come in um, from the, the one clip, and then where you want it to start playing in the second clip. And, you know, you can even figure out what the length of that transition is, um, or roll the edit by holding in the middle. <clears throat> We're also going to take a look at some games on the iPad 2. Uh, both of these have released updates from the App Store to take advantage of the iPad 2's GPU. Um, you know, of course, they haven't been designed from it from the start. They were both original iPad games, uh, but they have uh, received some nice upgraded textures um, and some additional effects just here uh, right at the iPad 2 release. Uh, so first, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Dead Space. What we have here is Dead Space for the iPad. You can see it's kind of difficult to play one-handed. Um, but I mean, you can see, I mean, the, the quality of the textures, um, and certainly things like the frame rate, um, and even the geometry and all, I mean, it's, it's really, uh, pretty remarkable. You know, I'm just here in this confined room, but, um, <clears throat> it's definitely a pretty impressive game. Uh, and we'll also take a look at Infinity Blade. You can see here we are with Infinity Blade. Running on Unreal Engine 3. Let's see, we can around here. A little cinematic gun. You can see we can, you know, look around and. Um, I mean, just the, the quality of graphics in this game are, are really just quite remarkable. Uh, you can see just the detail. Uh, there's a little infinity blade for us. 